and welcome back to Weather for Weather Geeks. It's Tuesday evening. Today is the 12th day of October 2021. We're almost halfway through the month, and what a first half of October it has been. The second half of the month will feature a pattern change. Now, not exactly a cold pattern, but a less warm pattern is likely to take shape during the second half of the month. But check out the first half through today's date, anyway, of, of October. Every day has been warmer than average since the start of the month, including today. 11 degrees warmer than the average today with a high of 75. We had an 81 degree day uh, a week ago, last Wednesday. And yeah, it's been a pretty remarkable stretch and it has kind of delayed the fall foliage season. It's making the colors maybe a little more muted uh, because especially at night, we just haven't had those, uh, those cool crisp nights that uh, are ideal for the best fall colors. But yeah, 75 locally today, it pushed 80 from Akron down I-77 through New Philly down towards Cambridge and Zanesville. Columbus hit 80 earlier on today. Now, a weak front is pushing through, and I mean a real weak front. It's not doing much more than producing a, a spotty sprinkle or a shower, especially off to the north, closer to Interstate 90. Most of us will stay dry this evening and overnight for tonight. Not so dry out in the middle of the country. A pretty decent severe weather threat is unfolding from northern Texas into western Oklahoma, the high plains, eastern uh, Colorado into western Kansas, southwest Nebraska as well. Actually, SPC upgraded their severe weather risk for the rest of today and tonight earlier on and included uh, parts of extreme northeastern Texas, panhandle of Oklahoma, southwestern Kansas in the level four on a one to five scale, moderate risk of severe weather. So it's going to be a bumpy, busy evening out in that part of the uh, country. Here's where October is. Uh, and no surprise, we have a severe weather threat along the leading edge of this colder air mass out in the Plain States, because it is a big change. You go from the 60s, 70s, and 80s down into the 20s in parts of uh, Wyoming and into Montana and the higher terrain. Of course, it's cold enough for snow and winter storm warnings are out, especially for the, the highest peaks of the uh, Rocky Mountain states. Even down into Phoenix today, it uh, was pretty chilly. Uh, temperatures in the Valley of the Sun were cooler than they were here today. Uh, most uh, most places around Phoenix only made it into the upper 60s with a gusty breeze this afternoon while we soared into the mid-70s. All right, a little fog, little fog will be a possibility for tomorrow morning. Uh, more likely, this is a low cloud deck, stratus clouds, stratocumulus clouds for a while, but there could be some patches of fog in the mix tomorrow morning. Don't think it's a real big deal, and I think by the afternoon we're back to mostly sunny skies. It's going to be a nice afternoon tomorrow, and ho-hum, yet another day in which temperatures will be a good dozen degrees warmer than the average. Now, this will be a somewhat cloudier day Thursday, but in a more pronounced southwest flow, it'll actually be warmer Thursday, making a run at 80 for probably the last time uh, this season. I don't know if we'll touch 80, but we'll get awfully close Thursday afternoon. Uh, I think we'll be dry. We've removed that small chance of rain from our Thursday forecast, Better chances of wet weather starting Thursday night and heading into the day on Friday, but I don't think this is a washout just yet on Friday. A scattering of showers around, but this is a strengthening area of low pressure along our cold front. And as that comes east Friday night into Saturday morning, that's when the wettest weather will occur. So for the second straight week, we're going to have a threat for some wet weather for high school football Friday evening. And the wettest part of Saturday at this point likely to be the morning. There there remain a few model differences as far as the timing of, the, of kind of the end of the rain, although the models are in better agreement today than they were yesterday. No surprise as we get a little bit closer. I think Saturday morning will be wet. By Saturday afternoon, probably not much more than a hit or miss shower or two, sprinkles around, may even see some breaks of sun by the end of the day on Saturday, and then another long stretch of dry weather will resume. Now, temperatures on Saturday with a somewhat faster progression of the front Temperatures are trending down. At daybreak Saturday morning, it still might be in the lower 60s, maybe even middle 60s in some spots, but very quickly Saturday morning, temperatures are going to fall. And once they drop into the 50s, it's probably going to stay in the 50s for the rest of the uh, day. So a cooler weekend is coming up. Uh, we have cooler nights ahead, but it doesn't look like, it, look like it's a pattern that's going to uh, produce our first freeze of the season, at least in most spots. It's something that, you know, can't be ruled out, and certainly in the second half of October, we wouldn't be surprised at all by uh, some some near 32 degree temperatures. But with the kind of pattern we have coming up that doesn't look especially cold, uh, we might get well into October, maybe even into early November before we see a legitimate freeze threat across our area. The average length of what we call the growing season in our area is 161 days. 161 days between the, the last freeze of the spring and the first one of the fall. This graphic shows all the growing season lengths 
dating back to 1999, I did not update this for last year's numbers, but uh, a couple years ago, 2019, we didn't have a freeze in the fall until November 1st. So a long growing season that year. Might have one kind of similar this year, although our our last freeze of the spring occurred a little later this year than it did back in 2019. So we might not get up to 185 days like we did back in 2019 or 189 days like we did in, in 2007, but it's uh, it's a, a lead pipe cinch that it's going to be a longer than average growing season for us this year. First 32 of the fall season last year occurred on October 16th. The, the 30 year average is October 14th here in a couple of days. But again, 2019, it was November 1st. Uh, and there's a variety of dates. Uh, in 2012, it occurred on October the 8th. So sometimes early October, sometimes very late October, even early November. And this is going to be one of those years in which uh, we have our first freeze of the fall season later than usual. It's just a matter of how much later than usual. And at this point, yeah, it looks like uh, it could be well into the second half of October. More thoughts on the longer range, of course, coming up in future editions of Weather for Weather Geeks. Thanks for watching tonight. I'll see you back here same time, same place on Wednesday.